Hi everyone, this is Amanda from Little Crafty Peel and today I want to show you a really easy pop-up card for Mother's Day. I got the idea for this card from Jennifer McGuire. She made a video a few months ago and I really wanted to try what she did. So when I saw this stamp set that I'm going to be using today, I thought it was perfect to make my own version of her card. So I will leave a link to Jennifer's video in the description box and there you can check what she did. Now let's move on with the video and I'll show you the supplies that I'm going to be using today. So this is the stamp set I'm going to be using and it's coordinating dies. I'm also going to be using a circle die. This one has a stitched border but you can use a regular one if you want. And I'm also using a scoring tool, some Copic markers and cardstock. So let's start by stamping all my images. I'm going to color them and as always if you want to skip the coloring you can go to minute 515. I feel that lately I'm always <laughs> coloring with Copics, I'm sorry about that, and I'm going to try and change a bit in the next videos.
So everything is colored and cut out, we can start making our card now. And the first thing I'm going to do is create a window in the front part of a card base. Now don't forget to open the card before passing it through your die cutting machine, otherwise you will get two windows instead of one. Now as you can see we're making a window card and the pop-up element is going to be inside and will be visible from outside through the window. When we are done doing this, we will make our little mechanism for the pop-up element. So we are ready to create the pop-up mechanism and you need a stripe of cardstock. It can be wider than this one if you want, but the idea is to create kind of a box. And for that, we need to make several scoring lines. Now my measures are going to be one and a half inches, half an inch, one and a half inches, half an inch, and one and a half inches again. Your measures can be anything you want. Just remember to repeat the first measure three times. Now the last part, we're just going to cut it out because we don't need it. So now we start folding and the first fold is one and a half inches long, the second one half an inch, the third one one and a half inches, the fourth half an inch and the fifth one and a half inches again. And as you can see you get this little rectangle box. Okay, after stamping the sentiment outside, we can put the card together, but there is a reason why I don't make so many interactive cards. That's because I tend to mess it up, even when I know how to do it and even when I have done it before. And here I did mess it up. So for some reason I forgot to add glue to the bottom part of the box. So because it was too messy, I decided to make another little video to explain how to do it correctly. So here you have the sample video that I have created and on the top part of the box, let's call it box, you have to place your pop-up element. Now you can do this later, I don't know why I'm doing it first, but you can first place the pop-up mechanism and then glue your image on top of it. Now for the mechanism, you need to glue on the side and on the bottom. You place it right there next to the folding of the card, then fold the card and wait until it is all dry and that's it. You get a pop-up inside card. Now if you don't understand this very well, I am sorry, please go to Jennifer McGuire's video. She explained this way better than me. So that's it, I added a few sequins and also left a bit of space there in the corner for writing a message. I hope you liked it, thank you so so much for watching, remember that all the supplies are listed below the video and you also have a visual supply list following the link in the first comment. Have a great day everyone and see you again soon, bye!